In this video, I will show you how to connect MetaMask with Coinbase Wallet. So let's jump straight into it. So in order to do this, the first thing you're going to want to do is download the extensions for both Coinbase and MetaMask. So you can get this from the Chrome Web Store. What you want to do is just go ahead and search for the Chrome Web Store, just like so. Then go ahead, click onto the top result, and what you can do is search for the extensions using the extension finder at the top. So for example, MetaMask, we would type into here, and I've already added these to Chrome, but once you click onto the extension, you're going to see the blue button is going to say add to Chrome. So you want to do that for MetaMask and Coinbase. Now, once you've gone ahead and done that, you're going to see your extensions up here in the top right hand corner. The first thing you're going to want to do is click onto your Coinbase wallet extension. Then what you need to do is click onto the option which says enter recovery phase or private key. As you can see, this allows you to securely import your wallet using your 12 word recovery phrase or private key. So you just go ahead, give that a click, and what you want to do is enter your recovery phase or private key. Once you've done that, it's going to give you your wallet address. And then what you can do is open up the MetaMask extension and log into your MetaMask account. After doing that, you want to come up to the top and click onto the account name. So for myself, it says account one. So you just want to click onto this. Then you're going to see an option to add account or hardware wallet. So you want to click onto this. Then what you need to do is click onto the option which says import account. And what you would do is basically enter your private key string here. So that's going to be your private key from Coinbase. Once you've done that, you will be able to connect MetaMask to Coinbase wallet. So with that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.